All right, warning. If you are easily triggered by satire or the opinions of other people, then do not watch this video. If you still insist on watching in spite of this warning, we are not to be held responsible for triggering you. Thank you and all hail freedom of speech. Warning, the following is a parody. It's meant to be a satirical play on radical ideals and thus will be blown way out of proportion. If you can't take a joke, then I apologize for what you're about to see. Thank you and may God have mercy on our souls. Hi there, girls and pigs, and welcome back to Feminist Frequency. I'm your host, Anita Dick and Me, and this is my male cisgender piece of shit co-host, Kyle Allman. Uh, wait, what? I'm here? Today we're going to be reviewing the Uncharted series as a whole, despite having played less than half of it. <laughs> but we'd never admit that. So, Kyle, what do you think of Uncharted? Uh, well, my personal opinion- Check with- hang on a second, check your privilege. Opinion- your opinion doesn't matter, because you're not oppressed. As you can see, this game is horribly misogynistic for having a male protagonist. The female characters in this game are all treated as sex objects. Sex objects. They're sexually objectified because Elena is a goal for male players to attain by killing other men. She's a sex object, and as numerous studies show, virtual violence always translates to real-world violence. So... This is, uh, this is teaching young boys to be sexist men, and as we all know, all men are sexist, generalizing pigs. But that's okay, young boys don't have to grow up to be men. Instead, they can choose to identify as six-year-old girls. If you do disagree with us, it's hate speech. Aha. Uh -huh. So, um, intriguing. You may have noticed, uh, that the comments are disabled on this video, but don't worry, your opinion is perfectly being heard by, uh, because I am here to speak for the people who don't have a voice the people uh, who are oppressed. Intriguing. And as we all know, the, the oppressed can never be the oppressors. It's physically impossible. Okay, but um, having to deal with someone like you, listening to a voice like yours, I'm pretty sure people would want to recluse themselves into video games and forget about it. Because as everyone knows, everyone who's done research anyways, that matters, video games can be cathartic. And if you don't know what that word is, look it up! I don't know what that word is. Look it up! <laughs> Here, well, I'll do it for you because it seems that you're clearly inept. Cathar... <laughs> Definition of cathartic. Ahem! Adjective! Providing psychological relief through the open expression of strong emotions, causing catharsis. Now listen, I'm not a fan of video games, but I've loved video games all my life. Are you also a fan of contradictor and contradicting yourself? No, what are you talking about? I rest my case. I never said anything about not liking video games. I rest my case. <laughs> So as you can see, this game encourages lots of violence, especially punching, and shooting, and killing. The I'm sure you're going to find some problem with that somewhere. The entire story is based around the concept of a man searching, searching for his fortune. Why couldn't it be a woman searching for her fortune? Are women not allowed to have money? I'm pretty sure they just decided to parody Indiana Jones, considering Indiana Jones is a guy. The problem here is that we're sticking to conventions. We can't break from the original with games like Tomb Raider. Although, unfortunately, Tomb Raider makes its main character way too sexually provocative. Therefore, it's sexist. Mm-hmm. Is it also sexist when she pulls the trigger and fires guns and killing people? Is that not the same thing? No, but it is violent. And your point is? Violence is bad. <laughs> As we can all agree. Violence is bad. Yet here you are, sitting here, talking about a game where you've played at least only half of it that contained violence. Are you kidding me? We just stole this footage from other channels without crediting them. But of course we'd never admit that. I don't know what you're talking about. This is all me. I love video games. It's just a sad state they're in. <laughs> video games are sexist. Just like how those guys are for th for firing guns at 
female players. Look at how sexist this is. It gives you guns and grenades. I'm pretty sure that's some sort of symbol for a male genitalia. Nope, just thinking that they're just regular guns and grenades. The problem is the testosterone fest that, that culture has become nowadays. You know, it's interesting to listen to you explain yourself. Glad to hear you enjoy our channel. Please pay us another $1 million to make three shitty more videos. What is that thing? Oh. Clearly, it's a hairy ape. clearly it's a personification of what they picture to be females, because they picture females as evil monsters and not regular people like others, like men. Uh huh. I'm pretty sure if someone was going to do a personification of women in a video game, they would instead of giving them black fur, they'd have pink fur. Wouldn't you agree? That's sexist. <laughs> I'm almost out of ammunition. Is that sexist? Of course. Everything is sexist. Everything is racist. And you have to point it all out. Because it's your job. Because if nobody else does, oh. Uh, if nobody else does, then no one will bitch about it. Why can't we have more uh, diverse, uh, non-cisgendered and non-male characters in games? Wouldn't because like if they were all angry feminists like you, no one would play them. Just saying. Down there. Oh. Yes, yeah, seriously. I just accidentally jumped off a cliff. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Oh, God. So are we gonna keep doing the, uh... <laughs> are we gonna keep doing the skit, or...? No, not now that you've said it. <laughs> I... So, uh, hello, Internetians, and welcome to Feminist Frequency! <laughs> oh, God, please, no. <laughs> there was a disclaimer at the front. Um... It was Grenades? A... What's the deal with those things? They explode in a puff of white clouds. That's obviously phallic imagery. And racist. Don't forget the racism. Yeah, of course. Why can't they be black clouds? God damn it. Wait, where is it? Where is it gonna spawn again? Like, oh. I spoke at the UN, therefore I'm smarter than you. Just because you have a degree doesn't mean that you're smart. It means that a bunch of other people, a bunch of other idiots <laughs> are willing to give you one idiot a certificate that says, hey, a bunch of idiots gave this person a thing. <laughs> Do not underestimate the power of those stupid people in large numbers. Picture of Congress. Yeah, basically. I love oh, that shirt. Oh, hi! That's, I love that shirt. I oh, need to cut that shirt. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking those. Oh! Bye! Okay. Die, please. Oh, I'm dead. You stayed out too long. Yeah, I did. Look at this. Do you have- oh, you have an MKD. Oops. That's uh, not what I meant to do. Apparently I could stealth this, but it's too late now. No, there was no way you could stealth it. We were already revealed, remember? They're already, like, crawling around like ninjas. Ba-dum, ba-dum! Um... Shh, it's okay, don't worry about it. He's here. Oh crap. <laughs> I like how that other guy just jumped. <laughs> Ow. What? Where did that, Where come, did that come from? from? I don't know. Go this game's unfair. Game. And sexist, of course. <laughs> oh, I got him. That was bullshit. How long does it take you to reload? Uh, four hours. Four? That's my trigger word or number. Uh-oh. Can't use that word anymore then. We'll have to use, um... Stay there. Qu quad... Quad number. Or, uh... Or pentagonally some, some, impaired. Some, uh, gender neutral number. <laughs> pentagonally impaired. Oh god. No. What the hell? Whoa. Listen, I'm offended by pentagons. Oh, it's there was a guy my... there? It's against my religion. Oh, these are all tough guys. Shit, how the hell are you sp Oh, god damn. Well, first of all, you should have taken cover because you were dying. Well, I mean, the shotgun guys were coming and they already fired a grenade. But they were coming very slowly, so... Hmm. 
Let me see if I can drop to kill this guy. I don't think you can do that in this game. Everybody be very quiet. We are hunting I'm hunting. Wabbits. I'm hunting cisgender bullshit artists. Uh, that one was probably. You can't talk about rabbits. Rabbits are symbolistic of fertility, which makes them s sex symbols. Sex objects. <laughs> Hi! Bye! <laughs> How would you like it if your entire species was sexually objectified? Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sexually objectified. Um, Marilyn Monroe. I, I like Marilyn. I, I respect Marilyn Monroe. I like, yeah, of course. She was uh, a little, um... What's the word? What's a... What's a promiscuous? What's a... Yeah, I was gonna say what's a PC term for, for uh, slutty. But you PC pretty much nailed it. Slutty. No, yeah. Dude with the shotgun. Uh, uh, that one. Don't worry, I got this. I like how he still managed to fire before he went down. So, uh, something else that we're going to be trying to do- Oh, shit. Roll! It's out okay, of the area. Alright. Something else that we're going to be trying to do on this, uh... What was he doing to that crate? He was teabagging it. <laughs> Which is another male sex symbol. Of course. How dare they teabag! Yeah. Man, I'm I'm gonna not play this game anymore. It's too sexist for me. It's way too sexist. This game triggered with me. all the teabagging and triggering and mm. ac pulling actual triggers. Yeah. Also, where the fuck am I going? Um, look for yellow and <laughs> then climb on it. I have a. Well, okay. Oh, okay. I guess this way. I have yes. Oh, look a thing. Turn around. A gear. That. Oh. Is that a thing? Can you do things with that thing? Triangle. I can only do things with this gear, sorry. That is sexist, racist, and triggering me. Of course. Why well, discriminate against these gears? Because one of them is slightly darker than the other? They both look exactly the same on the outside. Yeah. Because they're basically exactly the same. You should want to touch all gears, regardless of their color or gender. But not for too long, because that's rape. <laughs> uh... Hey, you using that word around me is offensive to me. I'm calling rape. <laughs> uh, You've raped my ears. We're gonna get a lot of flack for this. Damn, not funny. Episode. Um, where am I going? Uh, anywhere that's not here. Oh, look, bullet fire. Ah. Uh. Hi. What is that? What is what? That gun that he's got. Pull it again. Pull the trigger again. Do it. Mini gun. Do it again. <laughs> Should have got all this ammo on him. How are you still alive? I don't know. One more. Maybe he's not supposed to die. Oh, well, there's two of them. Great. And you're trapped are like you rats. Are you kidding me? Trapped like spats. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Trapped like a rat and spats. Trapped like a spat and rats, shoot him. Okay. Well. Glad to see I'm not the only one who reloads at the bad time. Uh. The bad time? The bad time. You know what this guy reminds me of? Ba Mr. Bad Times. He reminds me of Romantically Apocalyptic. Romantically Apocalyptic? Is that yeah. a band? No, it's a webcomic. Okay. Not a weird one. Well, I guess it's weird, but <laughs> weird in a good way. Oh, I think you showed me that, where it's like all black and white and sometimes there's color. Eh. Well, we're like... It's, they... it's mostly mute color because of the environment. They worship, like... They worship um, one of the characters. For, one of the characters like, one because, episode. like, that was one particular. They comic, crash yes. in on a pl and they crash in on a train. Yeah, that's a really good comic. Now we've gone entirely off topic, which is good. Um, yeah, that's actually an excellent comic. Die, fuck scrub. Is that Nathan Drake saying that? Yes, that was Nathan Drake. Bro, broski, Bravarovsky hamster. Don't, prota don't protagonize them. Protagonize them. Don't protagonize. Don't them. make them the ma don't make them the main character. You'll lose your ability to re to revive repeatedly. Ooh, shiny. Wait, where'd that coming from? The air. 
Fuck you, air. Oh, God. I'm telling you, I can feel it there? coming in the air. Tonight? Tonight? Who is it you always say that's by? That song. Oh. That should not have killed me. Yes, it should. You jumped two floors down. Okay, that was weird. One of those scrubs will drop a minigun if you kill him. I know. Oh, we're stealthed again. Die, scrub. Oops, the last one was a miss. There he is. Okay, here we go. See if we can make it. Grenade him, then run still to the stealth? minigun. I'm still stealth. Warning, the following is a parody. Nah, I keep thinking the following is a fan-based parody. Sword Art Online is owned by Reki Kawahara in Go Fuck Yourself Features. <laughs> I'm keeping this in and I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> I want you to keep all of this for like a blooper reel or some shit.